The golden frog of Panama is part of this small Central American country's culture. People here have long treasured this colorful amphibian, considering it a symbol of good luck and prosperity. But today, Panama's frogs are under siege. About six or seven years when I came here the first time, we have to, we have to watch our step because there were so many golden frogs around that we, we actually have to be careful because we didn't want to step on the frogs. And now, I mean, it's, we only have seen one frog Oh, here's one. In probably 30 minutes. So what's happening? It seems there's a dangerous predator on the prowl in the form of a naturally occurring fungus called chytrid. And it's spreading like a black plague over this majestic land, killing almost every species of frog in its path. Eventually, it's still the cells from the skin of the frogs. So after a while, the frog will try to get rid of the chytrin by producing more skin, which causes that the skin of the frog gets thicker. And then because of that, the frogs breathe through the skin. Then eventually, the frogs will die of suffocation. In an effort to save this treasured species, the Houston Zoo has put Panamanian biologist Edgardo Griffith to work. He and his team are rounding up every frog they can find in the El Valle region of Panama. The frogs have taken up residence at the Hotel Campestre. In two rented rooms, the researchers have converted into labs. I talked with the owner and the manager of a Hotel Campestre, and I don't think that they had an uh, idea of what, what was actually going to happen at those hotel rooms, because two of those hotel rooms, we, we changed it. We took all the beds out and all the furniture for the hotel, and we put just a lot of shelf in and a lot of critter keepers. The disease can be successfully treated, but only if it's caught in the early stages and the frogs can never return to the wild. The race to save what's left of them can only be described as an organized panic, since some 120 of Central America's amphibian species are believed to have gone extinct because of the fungus since 1980. Once they get to a hotel room, they go into the quarantine se section. Then we put them in a clean room, and in that room, we have to keep taking care of them. Yeah, um, Keeping this many frogs alive also requires a steady supply of live insects. And one bug is not as good as the next for these amphibians' appetites. The golden frogs prefer termites by day, while other species enjoy various sizes of crickets by night. And we collect about 300 to 400 uh, crickets every night. And it they goes from half an inch to probably four or five, eight inches. The whole process takes up to six hours each night, from collecting to going back to the hotel to feed more than 250 hungry inhabitants. I mean, when you grab them, immediately they will try to bite you. So we use a glove for that, but just to kind of feel more safe. It's crazy, yes, it's crazy. I got 80 now, so I just need 20 more to get my quote. Space is limited, so a new artificial home is being constructed at the nearby El Nispero Zoo. Researchers have high hopes for breeding the frogs and releasing them back to the wild but not until a solution to the chytrid problem is found. One of my goals is to have a very good, uh, successful uh, breeding program, hoping that we can figure out a way how to create resistance or to fight the fungus in the wild. Unfortunately, even if the researchers find a way to reduce or even eliminate the threat of chytrid, 
the golden frog and other species will still have to survive other foes. Once the, the illegal collectors find out that a stream like this one has frog, they will come basically every week. It's, it's a very illegal thing to the people keep doing, even when Kitrid is killing the frogs. And then another reason why they are not that abundant is the uh, habitat loss. I mean, they're getting attacked from every side, from the top, from the bottom, from the water, from the sky, from everywhere. And the Kitrid just came to finish them. It may be a long time before the forest is safe for golden frogs. But with the conservation efforts of the Houston Zoo and biologists like Edgardo Griffin, the last of Panama's amphibians may still have a fighting chance. Sponsored by the My Wonderful World campaign. Join us today and help give kids the power of global knowledge. Sponsored by National Geographic Mission Programs. Taking science and exploration into the new millennium. Sign up now at mywonderfulworld.org and receive our free newsletter and resources. Join more than 80,000 people and lend your voice to call for better geography education because kids who understand our world today can succeed in it tomorrow.